Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a video I have been wanting to do for such a long time. I am going to be telling you about all of the skincare that I recommend as a medical esthetician from Daiso here in South Korea. Also, stay tuned to the end because I will talk very briefly about makeup as well as fragrance. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Kieran. I am a medical esthetician licensed out of the state of Ohio, but I am also a student out here in Daegu, South Korea. I study the Korean language here on my YouTube channel. I talk about Korean living in Korea, skincare, and just some other travel and lifestyle topics. And if that interests you, stick around. <laughs> With all that nonsense out of the way, let's talk about Daiso skincare. For anyone that doesn't know, Daiso is essentially a dollar store out here in South Korea. Everything ranges from about $1 to $5, or in the Korean currency, 1,001 to 5,001. They sell everything from electronics to skincare to cute toys to even food. It didn't do this on purpose. But the day that I went to film, I was actually wearing head to toe Daiso items, of course, excluding the Vans. So I will really quickly say if you want some really good basics, Daiso has some great t shirts and shorts. Boxers and socks too aren't pretty bad. The hat and the bag are also Daiso, actually. Anyway, so let's get the boring stuff out of the way. You can get Vaseline at Daiso. And as you can see, it's anywhere from 2000 to 3001. I would not recommend getting the fragranced ones. Just get the regular old Vaseline. Don't listen to all of the people saying that it's not good for your skin, it's going to cause acne. It's very safe. And then the next boring but really tried and true item that I love are the Dove Soap bars. When I went, unfortunately, they didn't have the ones that I personally like to use. That's the sensitive variant. They had the regular one, which does have fragrance in it. Uh, but either way, if you're not sensitive, you can go ahead and get either one. But if you are sensitive, I'd recommend the one without fragrance. And that is going to be a reoccurring thing throughout this video. I don't like fragrance. Keep that in mind while you watch the video. Now on to cleansing. The Point brand has some wonderful cleansers, they have balms, but the one that I personally really like and the one that I'm using on a regular basis is the Point Deep Clean Cleansing Oil. Now, this does have fragrance in it. However, I don't mind fragrance in cleansers too much because they're not on the skin long enough to create a lot of irritation. This is pretty small, but a little goes a long way, so I don't want you to be misled by this size. It's very thin, it's very emollient, it takes everything off. But the great thing about this is that it doesn't leave a residue behind. Now let's talk about their new line. This is their tea tree line, and this seems to be in collaboration with the Korean brand Apu. Now across the board, I wasn't too particularly fond of this brand. Uh, the moisturizers were okay. If you are sensitive, especially to essential oils and fragrance, I'd stay away from this line. However, if you are someone who is not sensitive, and if you're someone who can appreciate the benefits of tea tree oil, uh, go ahead and pick up one of these moisturizers. They have two variants, which is really cool. They have a thinner one, and then they have a thicker one. But what actually did impress me were their cleansing pads and their sheet masks. So if you want something to add to your skincare routine that's just a little fun, I can definitely get behind using either one of these items. Speaking of sheet masks, what Korea is famous for, at Daiso they have JM Solutions sheet masks. Now, all of these are very similar, so you can pick up any of them and you're going to get a nice hydrating, glowy benefit by using it. But uh, honestly, across the board, these are so similar that uh, just grab whichever they have. I personally used the Heartleaf one and really liked it. It felt lovely, but I will warn that the other JM Solutions items are riddled with fragrance and other sensitizing ingredients that I just don't recommend. <laughs> so the next line is the Real Carrot line, and this is where I think Daiso absolutely knocks it out of the park. I don't want you to have a grandiose idea of these products being absolutely fantastic, anti-aging, so soothing, smoothing. They're, they're nothing like that. These are just really nice, fragrance-free, bare bone, protective, calming, hydrating product. The 
toner and the essence are very similar. I would say pick up either or. You definitely don't need both. The moisturizer is really nice, but somebody who is drier might want something a little more occlusive and thick. And the cleanser too, it's just a simple cleanser. Daiso does not really do cleansers very well, unfortunately. So if you do want a cleanser, I would recommend picking this guy up. And for myself personally, I picked up the Real Carrot pads to try out, and I really like these. You only get four, and, um, it, you know, I have my issues with these just not being great for the environment, but if you are someone who enjoys using pads, these are really nice. Along the same lines, v Prove has a moisturizing stick called the Marine Waterfall Sun Stick. And if I absolutely have to recommend a sunscreen from Daiso, this is going to be the one that I recommend. Now, it is not my favorite. There are two potential fragrance-like ingredients in it. However, if you are someone who wants a sunscreen on a budget, I think this is going to be the best and probably the only sunscreen that I'm going to recommend from Daiso. Unfortunately, so many of them are just laden with fragrance and color and uh, they just smell and feel obnoxious. <laughs> this one was the only one that has my stamp of approval, but I would highly suggest going to Olive Young or going to another place to invest in a fragrance-free sun cream or sun stick or sun fluid. Daiso just, they're lacking in the sun protection department. Now onto something that I absolutely love, that I cannot get enough of, and that I'm using in my own personal life. It is the Dr. Geo Sika Calming All-in-One Milk Fluid. Now do not be fooled, they make two of these, but I'm only talking about the Sika Calming one. As you can see, this is really large. It comes in a pump, and when it says all-in-one, it means all-in-one. The Sika Calming one does not have a fragrance, and let me tell you, that blue one, its fragrance is potent. I absolutely can't stand it, but fragrance is just not good for your skin. I use this on the face. I use this on the body. I can use it as a serum and put something over top of it. I can use it on its own. If you are someone that wants a no frills, no fuss skincare routine, pick this guy up as well as a cleanser and a sun stick or a sun cream. You'll be good to go. Use this morning and night. I mean, this stuff is so versatile. I, I cannot believe it's $5. And then to round out the skincare, I just want to tell the guys out there, they have some beautifully packaged and branded men's skincare, but I cannot get behind a single one of them. They are just so poorly formulated. They, they, they look like an absolute time bomb of redness and irritation. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I did promise all of you that I would briefly touch on the fragrance and makeup at Daiso. And let me tell you, fragrance, you really don't have to pay exorbitant amounts of money for a fragrance. They are so cheap to formulate as well. You pretty much spend all of your money on the bottle. But the Daily Kama brand makes beautiful fragrances. They are really unique too. I've been using the Signal Berry fragrance. It is a musky floral that's also somehow sweet. I use this in my house, I use it on me. I am blown away by Daiso's fragrance selection. Oh, and they have hand creams. They have hand creams. This was $3. The packaging looks nice. The fragrance feels expensive. This is an area that Daiso truly excels at. The other thing that I would not pay an exorbitant amount of money on are brush cleansers. This guy was about $2. It gets the job done. In fact, I think that this gets the job done better than some of the more high-end like Sephora and MAC brand brush cleaners that I've owned before. I've had this since I moved back to Korea almost eight months ago. And as you can see, 
I still have a really long way to go. So this was a great investment and it works really well. And last but not least is the makeup. Now, I've never been absolutely blown away by any of the makeup at Daiso. You get what you pay for and it's not a horrible thing. I've never once hated a makeup item from Daiso, but where they truly excel are in the Twinkle Pop products. This is a collaborative brand with Clio, the really, really, really popular makeup brand out here in Korea. And their eyeshadow palettes are beautiful. There is a rumor out here in Korea that there is no difference between these shadows and the shadows that you can get from their larger Clio palettes. So if you want four really beautifully formulated eyeshadows for only about $5, I would go to Daiso. I mean, they put some high-end eyeshadows to shame. That is my personal but also professional opinion on makeup and skincare that you can pick up from Daiso. I hope that this helps you. You really can get some great high performance skincare and makeup items on a budget. I have been so happy with these products from Daiso and I hope that you have the same experience. If you like this video, give it a like, comment on it, tell me what you wanna see on this channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.